Hi, welcome back again. In this tutorial, I'm going to help you get a concept of something that you've already done some, but it's a different way of looking at it, and I'll give you some practice at it. But this skill is going to make all of your improvisation so much easier and more beautiful and so magical, including what you've just been doing in the Aladdin tuning, but also in any other tuning, in any kind of composition or improvisation. So as you already know, there are a couple of ways to do things. I'm going to do a G158. So on each hand, you can mirror them, which means one side, then the other side plays. Or you can echo them. Now I've been calling everything an echo where you do left, right, left, right, left, right. But if you're not lined up so they're right against each other, you could also call it the ping-pong effect. For instance, if I move my right hand up to a D158, I've still got my left hand on a G158. So that's a ping-pong. I do left, right, left, right, left, right, and you get that beautiful tone. Then you also have something played in unison. Again, the G158 playing in unison. But if I stagger these, move the right hand up to the D158, I can still play them in unison. So when you're doing that technique of the glisses with the right hand, the lurching glisses, which you can use in any tuning, so I'm going to demonstrate it in C. Uh, when you're doing that and your left hand is on a 158, it's a beautiful improv technique, then uh, the key is to do what I call ping pong. So this is actually uh, an echo technique, but you're not echoing the exact same. Oops, you're not echoing the exact same notes. So what you're doing is, let's say I'm doing a a right, my right hand glisses, my lurching glisses. Left hand, I'm going to do a D one five eight. So instead of going. So instead of playing some of the right hand notes in unison with the left hand notes, instead I'm going to ping pong. So I'm never playing a left hand note at the same time as a right hand note, and that's ping pong. When you first learn something, you want to do it incredibly slowly so that it's correct, then you gradually speed it up until it's just second nature to you and you don't have to think while you're doing it. So in this one, we're going to do a left G158 down here. If you can't do a triad, if you can't do a 158, do a triad, but do it up here because triads sound better up high. So, 158. And you're going to place the 158 in place here and come down to until you're overlapping. And you hear a right hand note and a left hand note. Right, left, right, left, right. So I'm going to do it just like you're going to do it very slowly. Place first. Try it one more time with the 158 in the left hand, just for variety. Let's do it on an A158. So, so I came down here, I stopped, and I did two. So, so we're going to start placing on the A158 here. And we're going to come down with the gliss, end up on a note there, and then the left hand, right hand's going to slide two notes, then left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. 
So I'll do it really slowly, placing on the A158. Now practice it one more time, but this time with the upward lurching glyphs. So let's do it on a D, why not? And then down. So I'm never playing the left hand note at the same time as the right hand note. They're always ping ponging back and forth. Again, your first time through very slowly. We're going to do a D158. Place that, and this is going to be an upward gliss, so I'll go really slowly. That was the right hand note, and then left hand note, right hand two notes, left hand note, right hand note, left hand note, right hand note. So with my harp tuned in C, I just lifted the G levers so that I have that Aladdin scale. And if you don't have the G levers, that's fine. You can use everything you've learned in this tutorial. But I thought it would be fun to hear it in the Aladdin scale. And you might want to, if you did the last video, you might want to go back and make sure that you are doing ping pong for all those techniques. So I'm going to play an A158, an E158. And I'll do these lurching glisses both down and up. I'm going to come into the same register so there will be some overlapping and it sounds very cool. So I'm going to go right hand first. This concept of ping pong is not just for this type of thing, but it's for anything where the right hand is in a different place from the left hand. They might be against each other, in other words, in the same register, and it sounds very cool. So I'm going to put my left hand on a D158, and I'm going to put my right hand on an F triad. I'm going to play those simultaneously. But now I'm going to ping pong. This is going to sound like, but you're going to do it really slowly now. Left hand is on the D158 above middle C. The right hand is on the F triad above middle C. So place everything. I'll give you a chance in just a minute to place everything and then go left, right, left, right, left, right. play the right hand down simultaneously and now ping pong I came down to an E and now left hand was always on a D158 right hand was an F triad down E triad down and a D triad down and I'll let you try that Going incredibly slowly with the right hand leading an F triad downwards mixed with the uh, D158 upwards. So the D158 is going to just keep happening during this. The right hand is going to do an F triad downwards, E triad downwards, and D triad downwards mixed in with the left hand as a ping pong effect. This is the place on the D158 just above middle C and the F triad above middle C. So you're placed incredibly slowly, starting with the right hand.
So I'll end with an example. This is a Welsh tune, Coy Dame in Gloves, and later I'll teach it. But anyway, so, um, so here it is with uh, the, the notes are played at the same time. Now I'm going to do it ping-ponged. This is cool.